Today, I'm going to show you how you can clean your flat screen TV without scratching it. I'm going to take you through these simple things that you'll need, which are easily available, and I'm going to share with you exactly what not to use so you don't accidentally damage your screen. Hi, I'm Jessica with Hidden Television, and let's get started. Most screens these days are soft plastic, so you have to be extremely careful about how you clean them. For small smudges, simply use distilled water to avoid wearing out the anti-reflective coating on your TV. If you clean them with the wrong solution or the wrong wipes, you could cause permanent damage to your screen, such as fogging, discoloring, or scratching it. By the way, check out the links below. I've left you the links to the exact products that I use when cleaning our TVs here at Hidden Television. There are two different techniques that I use to clean a TV. A lot of people recommend spraying down a microfiber cloth when cleaning your TV and that's one good way to do it. It's important not to use any wood-based wipes such as paper towels or Kleenex tissues because the fibers are too rough on the surface. If you're using isopropyl alcohol, make sure it's a 50% or less solution so you're not over drying your screen. Don't use regular Windex or household cleaners and ammonia based cleaners. The Windex brand actually makes special electronics cleaners for televisions, which works great. Electronics cleaners are ultra gentle as they don't contain ammonia or alcohol. If your TV just needs a dusting, use compressed air or run a microfiber cloth very gently over the surface. Use a small amount of distilled water to make the dust cling to the microfiber wipe. Don't use regular tap water, which leaves a residue. If you're using that second technique, you just want to be sure that you're not spraying so much that it's running down the bezel or it's other electronics. The other thing that you'll want to know when cleaning your TV is that you want to use a soft microfiber wipe that doesn't leave fibers behind. If it sheds fibers, you will find that sometimes after you've already cleaned the TV, you have to clean it again. This is because cleaning the TV creates a small static electricity charge, which attracts the fibers of the microfiber cloth. Take your isopropyl alcohol mixture and spray your microfiber cloth down, also known as lens cleaner. Alternatively, you can use the product MonoClean, which is especially formulated for TVs. This works great! Where can you find inexpensive microfiber wipes? Probably the easiest way is at simply your local Walmart or Home Depot. Even Lowe's, Menards, or the Dollar Tree should carry them. You can also check the automotive section. Another way that you can find isopropyl alcohol and cleaner wipes is in the lens aisle of your local grocery store. They often sell them bundled as kits for eyeglasses. By the way, if you have any tips or questions, I would love to hear about them down below. Now that I've shown you how to properly clean your TV, I'm now going to show you how to properly clean your TV remote. Did you know the remote is the dirtiest thing in your home? Recent studies from multiple universities have confirmed that the TV remote is the single dirtiest item in a typical home and is a hotbed for bacteria and viruses. Consider that the next time that you book a hotel and reach for that remote control. The reason for this is that the TV remote is one of the most commonly overlooked household objects that nearly every person in a house touches multiple times a day. Yet, no one ever thinks to clean it. The rubber buttons trap and preserve all sorts of dirt, skin flakes, and hair. All you need is rubbing alcohol, also known as isopropyl alcohol, which comes in a solution or spray cleaner. Typically, you'll find this at your local grocery, pharmacy, or hardware store as a 50% water and 50% isopropyl alcohol mixture. Combine this with a clean toothbrush, Q-tips, and a microfiber cloth, or just use vodka like I do. You're going to begin by taking the batteries out of your remote, so your TV doesn't blow up while you touch all the buttons. Once your batteries are out, take a clean toothbrush, a motorized toothbrush preferably, and start brushing out the debris from between the buttons on your remote, starting at the top of the remote and making your way to the bottom. 
Next, take your isopropyl alcohol mixture and spray your microfiber cloth down. You're going to want to make sure that it's not dripping wet though, as this might damage your remote. You're now going to take the damp microfiber cloth and wipe down your remote from top to bottom. If you have any tighter spaces that your cloth couldn't get to, take your Q-tip and spray it with the isopropyl alcohol water mixture and use it to deep clean between the buttons. Now, put the batteries back in your TV remote. You can rest easy knowing that the dirtiest part of your home is now the cleanest. And there you have it, how to easily clean your TV remote. Until next time, I'm Jessica with Hidden Television, and I'll see you in my next video. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button right now.